Legal troubles seem to be the it thing right now, whether it's the recent arrest of Knicks guard Raymond Felton, DUI case involving Kerry Kennedy, or the charges against a petty ex. So let's talk about it. Attorney Midwin Charles is here now to shed some light on some of the recent legal proceedings. So it's Midweeks with Midwin. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It has a nice ring I to it. I love it. So let's start with Felton. What kind of trouble is he looking at? Well, he's actually quite lucky. Uh, he's been charged uh, with a charge where perhaps he might be looking at just one year. And since judges have discretion in terms of deciding what a sentence is, he may possibly avoid jail time. But wait a minute. He legally bought the gun, right? He did legally buy the gun, but, but the problem is it wasn't registered. Now, New York State and New York City has really, really, really restrictive laws when it comes to gun possession and everything like that. So even if you have a gun from another state where you've obtained the license, if you come into New York and you don't register that gun, you're in trouble. And the law is wow. mandatory time, right? Uh, not necessarily. I, I mean, a judge, ask, a judge can kind of utilize their discretion. Do you think he'll get special treatment because of who he is? I don't know. I mean, Plaxico Barris didn't get he special sure treatment. Yeah. He almost spent True. two years yeah. in jail, yeah, yeah, 21 yeah. months to be exact. So, and that was a plea deal, by the way. So, mm. you know, but the difference was, I think, with Plaxico is the gun went off in a in club. In a nightclub. Yeah. Yes. When you think of the potential damage that could have happened on that night, I think that's one of the reasons why Mayor Bloomberg, as well as the prosecutors, went hard on Plaxico yeah. Boris. But I don't know whether that'll be the case with this particular, um, with Raymond Felton. Mm. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so now let's talk about Kerry Kennedy facing charges from that driving incident mm. back in 2012. Do you think now, again, with the special treatment, will her name keep her out of jail? You know, it's hard to say. You know, some people will say that they have Kennedy fatigue, right? The Kennedys seem to always be getting in trouble and perhaps kind of avoiding yeah, yeah. ramifications for the things that they do. So it's a little bit tricky with this one. There are some reports that her attitude in going into court has been a little bit cavalier mm -hmm. and not necessarily taking this seriously. So it'd be interesting to see how that will play out. The grin, I think, is what turned a lot of people off yeah. yesterday. Grinning on the way in. It's kind of just... like, hi, I'm coming for tea. Mm -hmm. You know. Wait a minute. Is that what our legal system has devolved into? It's all based on innuendos and grins and, and people's feelings? I think that's people's interpretation that this is a serious charge. Something could have happened. You know, there was a collision. So she There was a collision. And then she blacked out. Right. I mean, when you think about, again, the potential for disaster Disaster is something that prosecutors always focus on when they try these kinds of cases because they want to set a precedent. They want people to understand, listen, we're going to use this as an example. You cannot get behind the wheel if you take medications or if you drink. Mm -hmm. Usually we hear about driving while intoxicated, but this is a little bit different where it's driving while drugged. So under the influence of a drug that you know would impair your abilities to operate that vehicle safely. If you had to bet, what do you say? Do you, th do you think she gets off? If I had to bet, I say she does. Okay, yeah. good. Well, we'll, we'll, confusion we're not going to hold you to that. Yeah. I do. I'm, I'm a little confused and uh, somewhat sickened by this next story. So this man, uh, there's a breakup involved, and he's defacing art mm -hmm. with dirty pictures, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The art belongs to him, but it was in her apartment. apartment. So what are, what are the legal issues here? Well, there's some really interesting legal issues here because he's been charged with stalking. He's actually been thrown quite the book. He's been charged with, with stalking, criminal mischief, and, and a whole bunch of other things but listen the backstory here is quite interesting he started a relationship with this woman after he left his wife and two kids he found out that she was cheating on him and decided to and went into this sort of drunken rage went into the apartment and did these things the problem is how you get them is how you lose them <laughs> he should not have been surprised mm -hmm. that she was going to cheat on him with someone else when that's in fact how their relationship started right but he used his own key to get into the apartment he so did. there was no he you know, did it, it, and it's a, or, right, and it's mm -hmm. an apartment that they shared. Mm -hmm, exactly. It's an apartment that they shared, where he subsequently moved out to. But still, it was an apartment that they had together. So. Okay. So quickly, Weird. before we let you go, a, a story that I was just so concerned about yesterday: bottomless drinks. <gasps> it sounds great, but it's actually illegal in the city. Why is this? I can't believe it. Does that mean that we've engaged in illegal activity <laughs> when we go to brunch and have unlimited Book mimosas? <laughs> yes. That's. I was like very concerned. I know. I know. I mean, who who knew? Right. But that's the thing with law. There are so many archaic laws that are on the books that they never prosecute, that they never really enforce. Lucky me. I know. <laughs> and this is and this is one of them. You know, this is one of them. So uh, 
However, it seems as though they are starting to enforce it. Certain establishments have received letters from New York State uh, Liquor Licensing Board. And my guess is that if you are engaging in this as a restaurant owner, you will probably be fined. Hopefully your liquor license won't be taken away. Right. But it is on the books. And there are lots of laws, by the way, that are on the books that just never get enforced. Well, if certain oh, wow. restaurants are getting the, uh, the word, then... then to keep it fair, all of them are going to have to give up the bottomless brunches, That's right? That's right. Yep. Unfortunately. Well, thank you so much, Midwin Charles. Oh. We really appreciate you being welcome. here. And I'll take you to brunch next week. I right? know, but no <laughs> bottomless mimosas. No bottomless mimosas.